So tell everybody what it's like to be a father in Israel, a divorced father in Israel. Is there a word? I see, I see the law here. It's, I said, listen, I can understand that I've seen like divorced wives saying husbands did horrible things to me. I do believe in some of the cases. I do. But when you when you give actually laws which are weapons to every woman that, that wants them to, wants those laws to use them against you, nobody discriminates if she's right or wrong. This is blank law. You're facing a wall you cannot climb over or go around. People don't care what you see. Is they it just say death? there is a law. Do you have a Yukovitsia? I do. You do, so you can't go out. I have no bank account. I've got an Yukovitsia. I've got no passport. I cannot leave Tel Aviv without a notice. I cannot be. I cannot have my own business. Nothing. You might as well be dead. But that's life when you're a divorced man. I am man. dead. What you see right now is a freaking illusion. Thanks. I am dead. I've Thanks. been dead for all seven years. Thanks. I came away bit alive when I got married again. I've got a baby now. I cannot feed me baby. Because she had taken every nickel I had. And when I go to national security or to court, and I try to explain that, I've got another baby which I need to feed. They tell me, well, you've made children. You care for them. I said, who's going to care for that baby? I'll ask you one question. Is this different in Israel from any other country? Well, I hadn't been a father in the place I came from. Right. Well, I can tell you that well, I can remember the stories of my father and I can remember the people I've seen in my childhood. I've never seen things like that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.